even in these two instances where you are saying, I fought, I was always attacked, and I won. Please don't attack me. I have said several times, you know, a symbol is an elephant. They are cholis. So don't push an elephant with your hand. You can't manage. And that's very clear. So don't attack me. I'm very humble. And I think I have been calling for Ugandans to unite. Never talk about tribal sentiment. We did not apply to be in Uganda. Neither some would apply to be a Muganda, or a Musoga, or a Nacholi, or a Munyankore. We found ourselves in Uganda. So never, never talk about tribalism. Let us be united as a country. No. I'm actually expecting an apology from one of Uzake. Being somebody who's younger than me, actually his age is the age of my children, he's not right at all. Especially in an African setting, when an adult is sitting, even if I was seated where he was seated before, you give that respect. And above all, there was a space near me. And what surprises me up to now, because as he was pushing me, another person came and sat near me. Was it a setup on me? I don't understand. There was no need for him to push me when there is a space near me for him to sit on. He wasn't making sense at all. So why should I apologize? This is not the first time people will try to take me to court their failed, especially when you started fighting me. When Odongato went to court, been in Nigeria. I have been in the UK. I have been in South Africa and many parliaments. I mean, the sitting arrangement in the house is such a way that members have their name on where you sit. And if the house now is not enough, let the Parliament of Uganda get a proper space where all the seats are numbered, so that you even know when a member of Parliament is absent in the house, his seat is empty. And not members of Parliament struggling over seats. It doesn't make sense at all. Because I don't believe that members of Parliament can fight over a chair. When we can even buy a chairs. How? And as if you carry the chair from your home, it doesn't make sense. Completely no. And uh, from nowhere, I was attacked. And that attack, I can't explain. Because I was seated, the man came, he started telling me to leave the seat. That he want to sit where I am seated. And as you know, that's where I sit. I used to sit with honorable. Cecilia Wang, the late, and may also rest in peace. And uh, Honorable Zake is a shadow cabinet minister in charge of president, presidency. And you know where shadow cabinet sits in front? And it doesn't make sense to me up to now why he came to me, he wanted me to leave that particular place. And to make matters worse, he started pushing me and saying stupid actually. I mean, I didn't understand. And that's a question that I have not gotten the answer why the man came to push me. And it is unfortunate. What happened, I'm not happy about it because that's not leadership portray in Uganda. Especially as I listened from him that the fight was about where I was seated. I mean, like kids fighting. Not members of parliament said fighting for a seat. It doesn't make sense. I don't know, because I came when he was speaking. I found him order, order, order. I don't know whether he was occupying that place or not. So I sat where I sit. And that's where I sit always. And it doesn't make sense. And first of all, when I see him admitted in the hospital, I don't understand. Because when you watch that video very well, after all the scuffle, the man was standing, was kicking. I wonder whether he was beaten by some other people or is pretending to be badly off. I don't understand. But above all, why, if it is about the seat, why talk about stupid Acholi? It doesn't make sense. Why do you bring it to Acholi people? If I'm stupid, abuse me. I don't understand. So there are two